Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I wanted to share a little bit of uh, experience that we've had recently with running SSIS packages in Azure Data Factory and some quick pointers about how to manage performance of those. So if you're new to using integration services within Data Factory, you may notice that sometimes it, it takes a little bit longer for some of the packages to run than they would have on-prem. And so I wanted to share kind of the, the two things that we find are the simplest and most effective way to help improve that performance. The first thing you're going to want to, you're going to, want to do is take a look at the performance tier of your SSIS catalog database. Um, when you're running the package, you can think of that database doing really two things where the service tier is going to really impact it. And one is when the package starts, it needs to read the definition of that package from the database. And so the higher the tier of your database, the quicker it's going to be able to read that definition out uh, and, and start the package. The other thing that the database does is it manages all of the logging. And so if you have a package with a lot of tasks, activities, it's going to log a lot of that execution activity to the SSIS catalog. And if you have a uh, higher tier catalog, that logging operation is going to be um, a little bit faster and so increasing the performance tier of your catalog is going to help the performance of your package. Um, this is normally the first thing that we try. Uh, quite frankly it's really simple to change it so it's an easy thing to try and it's also uh, pretty inexpensive relatively speaking to increase the performance tier of that database. Uh, but the second thing and the one that we find to be really the to have a lot more impact is to increase the node size of your integration runtime. And so the node size is really the, the size and the, the power of the virtual machine that's running uh, or machines that are running your integration runtime. Uh, and so the way you would do that is um, you can see in this screenshot here is, is with that node size option in your integration runtime. Uh, and so what you might want to try doing, for example, if you're running on a D1 machine is try bumping that up to a D2 or a D4 or if you're running an A2 or I'm sorry, an A4, maybe bump that up to an A8. And generally speaking, we, we do find much more impact uh, there. So if you're running one package and it's kind of running slow, we generally find a lot more uh, performance increase just by simply cranking up the power of that VM. Uh, if we're talking about you know running many packages in parallel, there are some other options and, and, and considerations there. But uh, for right now, I just wanted to give you these couple quick pointers on running a single package and how to um, increase the performance of, of that. I hope you found this simple tip useful. If you have any questions about integration services, Azure Data Factory, or using the cloud platform in your organization, please reach out and let us know. Thank you.